you're heading out um, this coming week to tour the state to talk about um, coordinated care organizations. Mm -hmm. Why should Oregonians care about the coordinated care organizations or CCOs? So a few reasons. Uh, I, I think first, coordinated care organizations deliver health care to about a quarter of all Oregonians. Uh, about a million people are on the Oregon Health Plan. Uh, the Oregon Health Plan through the Affordable Care Act has changed from a program really designed to ideally provide temporary medical assistance to the indigent into something that uh, really is a, is a, a, a staple provider of health care to the working poor. Uh, people who work full time uh, and, and work at jobs that don't have health care and need affordable access. And when, when you add the tax credit population uh, through the Oregon marketplace, you start uh, you know, getting to a significant population that we've now figured out how to provide affordable health care to. Uh, so that's one reason. The second reason is in doing the things that we do to try to uh, improve the quality of care and improve health, and manage costs, we, uh, we make changes uh, or, or we incent changes for providers that don't just affect those on the Oregon Health Plan. Uh, and so a good example is um, developmental screening for young children. The idea is to figure out if someone's got a developmental disability early on so that there are interventions that can occur that ideally prevent them from, uh, from having much more significant and more expensive issues later in life. Well, a, a medical practice doesn't do the screen if you're on the OHP and not do the screen if you aren't. They build a, a, a standard in their practice of let's do that developmental screen. And everybody gets the developmental screen. And so the quarter of people on the Oregon Health Plan drive an improvement in medical practice that affects everybody. And so that's another reason that I think people, uh, people ultimately should care. And then the final thing is that um, when you think about the triple aim, again, better health, better health care, and lower cost, uh, we continue to do a really, really good job of, of managing and, and restraining cost increases in health care. Over the first five years of CCOs, we've saved $2.2 billion. Uh, $500 million of that is state funds. $100 million a year in state funds um, is $100 million, uh, $200 million in a state biennial budget that instead of going to health care can go to uh, public safety or education or natural resources or any, anything else that we do. Um, uh, and so we're able, because we're able to restrain those uh, costs to allow legislators to make other resource choices.